That's where you can't go full trigger or you'll pop a tire. All right, welcome back. So today we are on my white x max to figure out what happened when we took out the snap on addition white x max uh one thing i noticed is that all the tires are way out of balance uh, because of i believe the foam is uh deteriorating in these wheels so we're going to open up a new set of uh, wheels and tires and get that going check it to see if uh, it slipped a pinion and then I was hearing a lot of fan noises and our fans came in. So we're going to get that put on. And then I do have the body mounts um, to stop the bodies from ripping. So the original body on this one, I'm going to get a set of these mounts put on. And then, of course, the motor inserts. Um... I don't know if it's for this one or the orange one, but one of them needs those inserts. So we're gonna get that done as well. So with all that said, I am going to have to glue these because I have showed in the past where those things get uh, jammed up. So I'm gonna get the body off. We're gonna take a look and see what happened to the drive on this one see if it's a uh... opinion like I think it is I think it just slipped opinion um, I did clean it up so we're gonna get the batteries out of this thing since I ran it last it's been super busy at work so I haven't had uh, time to uh, to get anything done with uh, the old X Max or the Outcast. So I'm going to get them back uh, both back in and see what's going on, um, so I can run them this weekend. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a take a look at this pinion and see if we broke something or did it just slip I was assuming the temperatures got too high and uh, got our Loctite too hot yeah it slipped a pinion So we're going to get that fixed up. Oh yeah. So what's going on? It's not even on the flat spot of the motor. And I can feel the Loctite. So it looks like it's just blue Loctite in there. I think the orange one is the one I, uh, I thought it was this one, but I can't remember one of the X maxes. Maybe I didn't let it dry enough. I thought I put the motor mount. screws in this one we're gonna let that dry up I'll leave that cover off for now so yeah this one's got the regular screws underneath here so we're going to get these things swapped out and get the 7759Rs put in there. And uh, we're going to take a look at uh, at these fans. Because I'm assuming these are broken. motor popped out of here. 
and uh, take a look at these fans. Oh, I just... Uh, No, I fixed the fans on this one. So it's the other ones that needs fans. Did I break the fan on the ESC? ESC looks okay. I could tell because it's got it's soldered up. Wonder if I can plug in the batteries and take a listen. See if it was this one. These fans are quiet and they're working. I think that back fan is working. No, the back fan is not working. The front fan is working. So what happened to the back fan? Let's take a look. These are just some cheap universal fans. It's hitting the cover over there. that one. Let me grab some scissors. This one is hitting. Trimming the tips off this fan blade because with the slop, with the slop in it, it's hitting. There's a lot of slop. Let's see if that fixed it. Yep, yeah. that's good. <clears throat> now we're going to get it put back on. Universal fans. You uh, have to be careful with them. Because when they're mounted this way, they tend to uh, 
to move around. So you just got to be careful. Now we'll get it pointed down. Get the other two screws in. And then we'll make sure that it's working properly. Get these things plugged back in and see if it's still working okay. Oh yeah, she's moving now. Both fans are moving, no more noise. Make sure both our pins are in. Not one thing, it's another. Now, gotta make sure that this thing is down. Now we're gonna open up the 7759Rs and we're going to uh, get this mesh correct. So let me hold this here, get it flipped over. get one screw in this thing Hold it temporarily so you can take a look. Get these things pushed in there. So all the way over. Make sure they go tight. New Traxxas screws. There we go. They're all in. Mesh is sounding perfect. There we go. Okay, let's get our cover put back on. There we go. 
Now, the next thing I had to do to this one was the tires. I'm going to go ahead and pop these open. The tires have gone up. They're almost 70 bucks, 140 for a set now. We're going to see if uh, the quality is any better. And I did opt for the black chrome. Because I liked it on the orange one. You can hear the crunch. But they're not separated. Seems like the glue is a lot better. Yeah. can hear the cracking but I'm probably gonna bloom as a oh there we go that one's off so you can see see how it's all cracked yep this one is a uh, it's not sealed up so I'm gonna break all the glue loose This was the same package. And you can hear the glue is not sticking. A little bit on the face, but mainly the back. So we're going to glue. See, these are pretty good. That's not bad. This one's good too. That's not bad at all. But one set, the glue was no good. The other set, the glue was perfect. All right. So I got a tip on there. That's the tip that comes with these uh, glue bottles. Now we just got to trim it. Do it at a 45. Once I get the glue in there, we're going to go ahead and stretch it open so it really gets down in there. like to almost fill that whole section with glue it's got a nice little ridge that you can uh, fill up with glue see in this you can't even get in there like we can on that one because this one's glued properly I can tell the tire is to one side though. See half of this tire is okay, but there's no there's no big ridge in that one. This one's got a little ridge. 
but then it's got one side that's got no ridge like right there so the tire is not mounted evenly in here so I'm assuming these are going to be a little out of balance too because one side's got a gap and the other side is closed We're going to let those dry up a minute so that I can glue the other side and then we'll get this thing swapped out. But that's what I'm up to. Wanted to do a quick little update. Let me uh, grab the body and I'll show you what I'm talking about, the original body to this one. And uh, let's get some of these washers put on bag of these washers I'll show you how this goes all right so here's the original body for this one as you see I've put uh, my own little washers on it and that kind of saves it but uh, they will eventually pull through these are a lot bigger so 7710 let's open this package up so I believe it gives us a location because they're different shapes on where they go. So they have R A L A R B left B body reinforcement installation instructions. So destructions. But I can tell by pretty much the shape on where they go. So this is LB. LB is here. This has got to be this one, which is there. RA. LC, LA, LA is here. It looks like it goes like that. And this one is going to go like this. So now that I got a placement of it, and we're going to get to uh, replacing these things. Get rid of the washers. These new screws are a lot longer. A lot longer of a screw. Much better. God, these screws are a lot shorter. And I'll show you. So that was the screw in there. Look how much longer that screw is. all the bite so you definitely want to change out the screws looks much better and I'm still trying to order up the orange body so, I did order one through my hobby shop. There's 
the back installed. And I believe that's really going to hold that body on. So there we go. That's what I'm up to. Figured I'd give you guys an update because I want to get these things out tomorrow. So I'm going to grab the other X-Max. We're going to get the fans installed into that. And then I got to get tires still put onto this. But that's going to end this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. That's where you can't go full trigger or you'll pop a tire. <laughs> Blew a tire.